Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Apple Watch Series 11 or the new Apple Watch SE3. Let's get started. All right, so I've got an iPhone here and I've got my Apple Watch as well. This is the Series 11, but the process works the same for pretty much all Apple Watches. So don't really worry about that. All you have to do is turn on your Apple Watch. You're gonna press and hold on that side button until you see the Apple logo and it'll take you to this page here. It's telling you to bring your iPhone close by. As I do that, nothing's happening. If that happens, lock your iPhone, then unlock it again and bring them close by. You'll get that screen and you can tap continue on the iPhone. So first off, let's go through this. I'm going to show you how to set it up for myself. You tap here. If you have a family member, choose that option. Now it's asking you to pair the Apple Watch manually down here, or you can hold this over and you wanna hover the iPhone over that little option right there. It'll pop up in green, keep holding it until your Apple Watch pairs. Now from this section here, you're going to follow the on-screen on the iPhone. You do see what's happening here. There'll be a status bar on the Apple Watch while we do this. So make this your new Apple Watch. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other Apple Watch. So if you've never had an Apple Watch, it's not going to show you this. It may just take you to the next step. I can look through this, but you can tap customize here and choose between watch that you may have used or had in the past. And you can also choose down here to set it up as a new Apple Watch. So I'm going to actually do that and it'll take us to this section here. What you're seeing is the wrist preference. So if you're right handed, traditionally you would put on your left. You want to put it on the non-dominant hand as far as a lot of people say. Otherwise, you can do whatever you want. So we're going to say left here. Go through the terms and services and tap agree. And then you can choose to share your analytics with Apple. I never do, so I say no. You can set up a passcode here and it'll lock when you take it off and it requires the passcode to unlock. This will also help protect your data and things like that. So if you wanna create a passcode, you can. So we'll enter that right here. I'm just going to create a simple one just for now. And you saw right there, because it was simple, it asked me if I really wanna use it. This is setting up the text, so how you want it, you can set it to bold text. And as I'm doing these things here, you're gonna see how it'll look on screen. So if you wanna make any changes, actually changing on the Apple Watch as well. So set them up the way you like, and then we'll tap continue. All of these settings we're setting up here as well, you'll be able to modify them or set them up and change them from the Apple Watch settings anyway. So this is giving you some shared setting information. You can enter in your personal fitness and health data here. If you haven't, I've already entered mine in. So I'll hit continue. You can enable tracking, so workout tracking. It'll use your location to track routes and local weather and outdoor workouts and things like that. You can choose to allow that or not. Here is a safety section, how the Apple Watch can help in different emergencies. So you got emergency SOS, fall detection, crash detection, and backtrack. So if there's ever an emergency, you can hold the side button to call emergency services straight from the Apple Watch. Fall detection, if you fall, it'll prompt you, give you a countdown if you don't respond to say, I'm okay, it'll call the emergency services. Same with crash detection in a car crash, it'll try to detect it. These aren't perfect by any means, but they have saved lives. And this new one, Backtrack, is if you're in a remote setting, the Apple Watch can record your route in case you get lost. Tap continue. And this is just a quick tip and tutorial on wrist flick. I'm actually posting a full Apple Watch tips, tricks, tutorial series that'll show you everything you could do with the Apple Watch Series 11. So if you're interested in learning more, check that out. You can tap double tap here, which allows you to perform things like that. And it'll create some actions. Open depth when submerged. It'll measure various things like temperature and depth and time. We'll have it set to open when submerged and it's gonna to start to sign in to our Apple account. From here, you can set up Apple Pay. I'm not gonna do that, I'll set it up later. And it's going to start to sync with the Apple Watch. And also you don't wanna be turning any of these things off while it's syncing. That way you give yourself the best chance of everything setting up smoothly. All right, and that took about five, 10 minutes to set up here. You got on screen on the iPhone, welcome to Apple Watch as well on the Apple Watch itself. 
with that liquid glass look of watch os 26 and we're going to tap start it's giving us the option to take a tour we're going to skip that like i said i'm going to show you guys how to do pretty much everything with this apple watch and there we are to our watch face and we can start using the apple watch going through the settings using some of the features like the heart monitor the camera even here is cool too what you can do with the iPhone and I'm in Canada. So I still have the oxygen sensor, blood oxygen. It's still there for me. Uh, a lot of parts of the world, I believe in the U S uh, lost support for that for whatever reason. But like I said, I'll be going over this in my full Apple watch series 11 tips, tricks, and tutorial guide. And if you want to check that out, definitely hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post those videos as well as other Apple watch videos. And I'm doing the same thing with the new iPhone. So if you're interested in that, check out my channel. Tons of videos are already up to learn and see these cool new Apple devices. If you have any questions or ran into any trouble, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help you out and I'll see you in the next one.